So Russ and I met at university. Um, we both went into University of Natal to study grassland science, which is basically like an ecology degree. And the, the reason why we both independently cho chose that and then came together there was we both had a big love for nature um, and wanted to do reclamation work um, and work with nature instead of against it, but still obtain a yield. But eventually somebody found and showed us this piece of land. Yeah, and then uh, it didn't take us too long. We stayed here at night, spent the night, had a look at the fact that you could see no lights around us, and we bought the place the next day. We had done a permaculture course about 25 years before we arrived here and had always had the interest because permaculture says to you, you can basically take the design of it, the design principles of permaculture, and if you apply them to any piece of land, you can change that land from being unproductive to a productive system working with nature. Initially, we did our soil analysis here, and they said to us through the soil analysis that we would not be able to grow even olive trees because it was very salty high salinity, a relatively high pH, and then from the farming practices prior to us being here, they had denuded the organic matter and there was basically no content in it. Um, so they said to us we would not be able to grow anything on it. And by applying the permaculture principles, we've actually changed that around. And now we grow 60 different fruit trees and every single veggie, apart from blueberries and rhubarb because those are acid loving. But other than that, depending on the season, we can grow absolutely every crop. So that's been an amazing journey for us. One of the main challenges is it's, we've done it on a small scale. So you've got the economies of scale problem. So how we overcome that is to actually sell direct to the end user. And that means that you get a higher value for your product. And then in terms of sort of ecolo ecological problems in this area, the, the drought, the dryness is a problem. Um, so we have to look after our water resources quite carefully. So we do drip irrigation and... Um, and mulching. So we're always covering our soil and we're working with the organic content within the soil. So um, conventional industrial farming will take um, they just take the soil as a substrate and then they're adding chemical fertilizers to that and that, that is what then makes the plants grow. But if you do that for prolonged periods of time, you eventually get a buildup of those um, chemicals and it can often make your soil unproductive in the end. Whereas the system of farming that we use with the organic content continuously being improved, it improves your water holding capacity but it also improves the vigor and the strength of your plants. One of the reasons that you would want to be practicing permaculture is that you're, you're trying to live, uh, tread lightly on the earth. Um, so everything you do, you um, have to judge what is its effect on the planet and, and what are your options as well.